Hey everybody, Sean here for Trek Culture. How are you getting on? So I think everyone who is any way interested in Star Trek recently has probably heard the news that, well, Michael Dorn went on a little bit of a bit of an L tweet, didn't he? And tweeted out on Monday the news that we have all been waiting for, which is he's been summoned back to Starfleet. Uh, while I wait for my own um, I don't know what you call it, coolness to return? Yeah, I think that's, I think that ship has sailed. Uh, this is really exciting because ever since Star Trek Picard was announced, we have just been waiting and waiting for the entire next gen cast to get back together again. So obviously first thing that's going through any of our heads is boom, brilliant. Worf is coming back. He's gonna appear in Star Trek Picard. There's gonna be some reason why they have to meet up. It's all gonna be fine or with the announcement that Q is gonna be back, maybe there'll be a little bit of a timey-wimey, you know, sea wharf earlier on. With that much makeup going on, you'll probably get away with that. However, so if you look closely at the tweet, you'll see a few things. One, Starfleet calls. Okay, what's the first thing we do there is we go and check with Paramount. Paramount Plus is basically the home now of all of Star Trek. So we've got all of the original series, next gen, DS9, and you've got everything that's upcoming. You have Picard, you have Discovery, Lower Decks, and you will have Prodigy and Strange New Worlds. So first port of call, let's get in touch with them. However, a Paramount Plus representative has confirmed that Michael Dorn's tweet has nothing to do with the Star Trek universe that's gonna be airing on Paramount Plus. Now, this is initially absolutely crushing, complete kick in the belly kind of news, because what's the one thing we want? We wanna see Worf back with his friends. What are we being told we're now not getting? Worf back with his friends. This makes me sad. Because if you think, Patrick Stewart, when talking about season two of Picard, well, we know Guinan's back, we know Q is back, and he also teased a human element that he couldn't elaborate on. Now between you, me, and the educated wall, the smart money is on LeVar Burton's Geordi LaForge. He was already said to be a huge part of the Romulan relief effort and we've yet to see him in the show. Therefore, it seems like in whatever capacity, season two might be addressing his part in Picard's storyline. Season three of Picard has been confirmed. So does this mean that Michael Dorn might be pushed out to season three? I'm not letting the dream of seeing them all back together on the bridge of the Enterprise D die. I mean, I don't know how it would happen. Maybe, maybe it's an updated photograph. Maybe Q puts them in some sort of holodeck situation. Maybe they listen to all of the fan fiction that I've been sending them and they're like, yeah, yeah, we need to do this for Sean. He's earned it. If it's not gonna be Paramount Plus, and if it's not gonna be in the Star Trek universe, then the next port of call, of course, is, there's a movie coming. 2023, Paramount has confirmed that in June, there's gonna be a new Star Trek film, Star Trek IV. We know it's a J.J. Abrams produced film. Now, we don't necessarily know that that locates it in the Kelvin timeline, but, JJ, Kelvin, uh, the pieces fit. Worf could actually appear in that timeline. If you think of Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, Michael Dorn appeared in that film as his character's grandfather, Colonel Worf. He defended McCoy and Kirk at their trial for the assassination of Chancellor Gorkin. So there is absolutely nothing to say that that character doesn't exist in the Kelvin universe as well. And if that's the case, he may interact with or be an integral part of the plot of the upcoming film. Again, we have issues there. So wonderful as it would be to see Dorn back in the Klingon makeup in any capacity, J.J. Abrams is well known for locking secrets up tighter than Rapunzel in a tower. So for Dorn to tweet on Monday, Starfleet calls, I mean, that just does not sound like something that would happen in a JJ produced project. Like the idea of secrecy is so drilled in. Now that has backfired. It's definitely not can, it's not can, it won't be can. John Harrison is it's, 
I'm over it. I'm over it. It would also seem poor timing if you think as well that another high class actor recently has uh, got himself in a spot of bother for revealing some secrets he potentially shouldn't have. Alfred Molina recently confirmed that he is going to be back in Spider-Man No Way Home. He also confirmed he'll be playing Doc Ock and also suggested that de-aging technology will be used to have him pick up the story from exactly where it left off. That sounds really exciting, I'm really looking forward to it. I would imagine Kevin Feige has probably sent a hit team after him because the spoilers in the Marvel Universe are, don't do it, don't do it. Look, I'm not saying that it's definitely not, you know, Worf is gonna appear in this film. I'm not saying that, you know, this isn't a big misdirect by Paramount. It could be, and if so, fair play guys, fair play. However, there are other options. The very last part of Dorn's tweet is hashtag ad. Now, that is legally required when you are advertising a promotion. You have to let the audience know that you are related to that. Now, the wording of the tweet doesn't actually seem to allude to any promotion or any, you know, offer that's going on. So, what's this in relation to? Is it in relation to expanded universe Star Trek. Star Trek Online is obviously the massive, massive online platform for Star Trek gaming. It's immensely popular and it has already brought many of the stars of Star Trek back to reprise their roles. Michael Dorn among them. He was in fact the fourth actor to reprise his role in Star Trek Online. Now his tweet did say he's being called back to action. So that suggests it could well be a return to Star Trek Online. The other option is Star Trek Fleet Command. Now this is a mobile game that's been getting pretty solid reviews, or around the eights and the nines from all, most reviewers. They've already had stars reprise their roles, including Carl Urban, because this game is based in the Kelvin timeline. So that would suggest that if Dorn were to reprise his role here, it might be Colonel Worf again. The game has received a little bit of criticism in that you kind of have to pay your way forward, but that's neither here nor there when it comes to getting a star back to reprise the role. For now, that's all we have for you. As soon as we get any more confirmation, we will bring it to you straight away. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Remember, drop anything you like in the comments below. We do read them all. Remember, you can catch us over on Twitter at Trek Culture and you can catch myself at Sean Ferrick as well. Look after yourselves, live long and prosper, and this time, guys, kapla!